Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here from GreyFlorals.com and today I have another Wild Whisper Design Team process video. Today I'm featuring the new collection Lake Life as well as the older collection called Adventure. Both of these collections are outdoorsy. Um, Lake Life's a little more water themed and camping themed while Adventure is more just outdoorsy in general. So I'm thinking about trees more than anything. So with the brand new Wild Whisper collections that have been coming out, they've expanded their offerings quite a bit. Um, there's now different shaped stamp sets, so smaller stamp sets, larger stamp sets, uh, ephemera pieces that I'm pulling out here for Lake Life, and even Flair, and a couple other fun things down the road. So stay tuned for all their social media announcements, because every month there's a new collection to be had, and there's different offerings for each one. So I'm sorting through the die cuts here to sort of get some inspiration for my layout. I have a multi-photo layout today. I'm using three very large photos, which you guys have been asking for more multi-page layout, well, multi-photo layouts. And I usually do them on double page layouts, but I decided to try one on a single page layout. These are some of the last photos I have from this uh, hiking trip. I've been scrapbooking these for so long because I printed like every single one, um, which of course I don't mind. It was a really, really fun a hiking trip and we'd never gone there before so we had tons of photos and it was so beautiful. So I pulled out this black paper here. This is a like wood slice paper um, from the Adventure Collection and I'm going to pair it with this green ombre leaf slash twig, I think it's just leaves, background paper from the new Lake Life Collection. Um, like I said, Lake Life's a lot more water focused than Adventure was. Um, but they go hand in hand beautifully because one covers land, one covers sea, essentially. But this B side of Lake Life really does uh, work well with adventure, so I decided to pull those together. This little bit here that says you are an explorer is actually from an adventure paper. Um, I'll be using it again later on in this video so you can see what both sides look like. Um, but I cut this out of one of the 12 by 12 designs. Right now I went to go look for some doilies. Um, I'm trying to figure out my photo design. I have three photos, two of which are similar in nature, um, and then two that are similar in orientation. So when I often have two 4 by 6 photos that are vertical and one that's horizontal, the horizontal one usually gets chopped like it is now. So I make that into a 4 by 4 ish It's not totally 4 by 4 I didn't really measure it. I just assume it's 4 by 4 because it looks pretty square. Um, so that way I have three 4x4 four four photos, except I trimmed down the two larger 4x6, the horizontal ones, or I mean vertical ones, because uh, I wanted to have little black gaps in between. So you had a little contrast between the photos, since the water in the photos is so bright, the black really helps add that contrast. Since two of the photos involve my boyfriend looking out into the water, I decided to put those so they're facing in towards the page. Um, and I think that works out pretty well. Here I'm looking through some of my washi tapes so I can see if I have any that match this collection. Um, and of course I do because I have 5 million washi tapes it seems. Uh, but I'll use those later on. Here's the other side of that paper that I cut that sentiment out of. I'm just going to glue down this smaller photo onto it. It's got a bunch of triangles and different various blues and greens. And I think it adds a lot of dimension to this photo. This photo is one of the darkest ones of the bunch. And since it's smaller, I wanted to give it more of a pop, and I knew I'd also be embellishing around it. So I wanted to make sure I made this a pretty thin border since my uh, black sections on the bottom aren't that thick. So in order to do that, I'm just going to just trim it down pretty close to the edge of the photo, but it still gives that pop between the photo and the black background paper. Here I'm looking at some doilies in my stash because I want to give some definition to a couple different parts. Specifically this part, this is You Are an Explorer which is a perfect title um, because of the way he's acting, but I decided to pull out this mint color one instead. I thought it better matched the greens in the background of the uh, last paper there. And then I also want to pull out a second doily for a cluster going beneath my photos on the left hand side there. Um, I pull out these die cut pieces, but I actually switch those out later on. And right now I'm actually looking through my washi tape because I want to start gluing some stuff down. Um, I have this washi tape, which is a light mint polka dot, which I thought went fine, but I wanted something a little bit different. I even pull out some of my black pattern washi tapes to try those out, and I decide against those. Um, I go for this light gray with blue crosses on it. Um, I don't know why. I think I like the gray the best. I don't have many gray washi tapes, 
Um, I think this was a unique border for this, and I only put it on the bottom edge. Usually I do both edges, the top and the bottom, when I have a horizontal uh, pattern paper running across, but I decided against that this time. Mainly so it felt heavier on the bottom since the photos were near the top of this black piece. So once I get that glued down, I am going to add the washi tape. Um, and then I thought that it was kind of a harsh contrast and decided that I want to add another washi tape. So I look at some black washi tape options, which would have looked absolutely fine, um, just not what I wanted. And then I look for some solid color washi tapes. So this one is a light mint color, which pulls in that doily color a lot. Um, and I think it works pretty well. It adds a nice pop of color, which is not what I anticipated doing with that, but it ended up working out that way. So now I can finally start gluing down my photos. I did not put any paper underneath the other two photos. I really like the black contrast on those because there's more water to them. But uh, I think that if I was going to add paper, I would have done the same exact one I put under the other smaller photo. And here I'm writing down the date and location so I don't forget to do journaling or forget to look up the date later on. Because as you guys know, I'm trying to work on that. I really am. So once those are glued down using my ATG gun, I am going to do some embellishing. So I'm going to tuck that doily under before I forget. And there's that back side of that paper again that showed the sentiment that I cut out, um, which is actually from a previous layout I did not use it on. And I'll have um, other Wild Whisper videos linked down below if you guys want to see more of these products used. But I'm just diving into the Lake Life collection, so you'll see more of that soon. Here's where I glue down the little details of the doily. And this doily is from the Paper Studio, in case you're looking for a mint one. And I really wish I had actually popped this up on some foam adhesive. But if you've watched some of my other recent videos, um, you might know that I've recently kind of run out, which is weird. I thought I had more, but maybe I'm not just not looking in the right spot. So for the second doily, this one's from Doodlebug. It's a very tiny doily. These are amazing tiny doilies. And I wish I had them in every color, but this is the only color I have them in. Uh, they're a little bit pricey, and they're also very hard to get apart since you get so many in a pack. It's, it's a lot in a pack since they're so small. Um, I'm not sure how many now off the top of my head, but they're very hard to get apart since they're so delicate. Here's one of the die cut pieces from their ephemera pack. It's just a little arrow. And I decided to pair that with the You're an Explorer uh, title piece only because it is a lighter color scheme than what the rest of the layout is so I decided to put that darker accent in there to bring it more life. I just built out a cluster in the bottom left here using some die cuts from that Lake Life pack which I wish I bought two of them now that I think about it but that's okay. Definitely pick yours up before they sell out because if you guys know Wild Whisper has sold out of things before and I don't want you guys to miss out. And I'll have my discount code linked down below so you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, so you can save a little bit more on your order. Here I'm going to glue that down, which it was a perfect fit inside this doily. I can't believe how perfect the fit was for that little die cut. And then I also use one of the flares, which is a beautiful green flare. It's darker than the rest of my layout screens, except in the top right corner. I think it's a similar color. And there I add another piece of washi tape, just for a little bit of a different shape cluster, so it's not perfectly circle. And I add two little leaves in for a little extra texture and an organic shape. I really like building out clusters so they're not the traditional like rectangle or circle shape. Here's where I start looking for some final accents. I look at some of my Wild Whisper sequins and I think I'm missing a couple from them that I used to have. I think I put them in a different spot so I'm really having trouble finding those. But what I end up pulling out is one from Speak Along Scraps which is who designs the Wild Whisper sequins. And I use the Nature Walk collection, which has beautiful greens in it, which match this perfectly, especially the Lake Life and Adventure collections. They both have a lot of green in them. But I'm just going to glue some of these down and then show you guys some close-up shots. Check out the Wild Whisper blog to see the full details on this layout and more. Um, there's tons of other great projects using the Lake Life collection if you guys haven't checked it out. And you'll be seeing more of the new September release in some of my upcoming videos this month. But I hope you guys enjoyed again. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!